Thanks, everyone. Um, so one of the challenges, obviously, for working with safety is you have to look at a system. And the system is not just software. It's also what you're running on and how it all puts together. So as of um, last month, we finally kicked off uh, something that we've been envisioning for about a year now, which is a hardware profile. And so what we're doing is um, we've started meeting. And the next meeting will be on October 8th. And what we're trying to do is make sure that we get the information necessary um, to consider physical devices, FPGAs, and actually virtualization, because digital twins are going to be a key reality for us going forward here. And so being able to represent all of these different scenarios is going to be part of what we need to do for the hardware profile. So it's not just, OK, here's the serial number of this device or this product SKU or something like that. It's also going to be, OK, how else can we you know, uh, keep the information that we're going to need from that side? So this is kind of what we want to do. We also don't want to, quite frankly, reinvent the wheel. <laughs> OK? There are hardware bomb standards out there that talk about how we can pull this stuff in. And we'd like to pull in any experts on these standards to come and work with us so that we can just use their standards as much as possible. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And we're working with some of the other open source projects, specifically a lot of the open hardware projects. So um, we've got some good representation starting to come in from the Chips Alliance side of things. And um, what we want to try to do is do this so we can be managing the supply chain risk on that side as well as with the software risk. So um, there's also work coming out of like, you know, hardware bill of materials work and studies going on in the governments. And as other governments are looking at that, please let's see if we can bring this forward as a place to summarize all this metadata. And obviously, what we're trying to do is get this ready for those full systems that Nicole was talking about so that we can pull all this in one place. So this is all targeted with, for the 3.1 release. So we're focusing right now, um, basically, pedal to the metal, effectively, to get the 3.0 out the door. And then, um, but now we're sort of starting to meet for planning for the 3.1 and to get this one ready for that. And so, like I say, this is supposed to be augmenting and complementing things. And so we're moving from being, effectively, a software, bill of, uh, software package data exchange to be a system package data exchange. So you might be seeing some changes emerging on that type of things. But we are actually going after systems. And this was part of the reason we had a core and then we had a software as separate profiles so that we knew we were going to be, be able to put in um, the hardware as potentially we might also move the data one up to its own level too. We're, we're, these are all discussions that are active. So there's a few use cases we already know. But um, there is a link in the slides. And it is open. And feel free to put comments in about use cases you want to represent. So like I say, right now we're in the phase of gathering the data for what do people want to represent. Um, as you can hear, one of the first cases on there is the safety analysis. But then the other thing is, OK, you know, can we handle the security vulnerabilities? We've had vulnerabilities out there where it's an interaction between the Linux kernel and the chips it's running on. Can we model that? Because that tells you whether or not we have to update something in the firmware or update the hardware. We're going to see these sorts of things happening. And then also, quite frankly, as people are managing systems in their own organizations, can we do the inventory management? I.e., this version of this device is running this software, and I want to track it, because I need to go and update all these other ones. This happens in the safety critical space, but it also happens in you know day-to-day -day inside organizations. So can we pull all this stuff together so it's useful? There are other projects that are um, sharing this type of metadata. I think the DBOM project and a few others, they're sharing both software and hardware already. And so trying to line this up so that we've got this ability to, to share this metadata is what we're going after. So I guess with that, you know, anyone that's interested in this, is please reach out to me, and I will add you to the mail list. There is a new mail list that actually just formed. Oops, yes. Uh, I didn't put the link in, my bad. Um, there is an email list. I'll put the link in the slides. And so you can just automatically subscribe into the hardware mail mailing list, too. And with that, I will turn it over to Gary to bring us up on the services.